Uh, welcome to the five day lead magnet challenge. We're live. I had a few technical issues with my broadband. It's all sorted now. Max from BT OpenReach came out and helped me out. And um, amazing turnaround, actually. 24 hours later, I'm back up to 12 meg download rather than two and a one meg upload rather than 0.1, which means I can actually do video now, which is fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to crack straight on. So this is the five-day lead magnet challenge. Super excited about this one. It's um, one which several people have asked for. I know I'm a day behind. Apologies for the technical hiccups, but here we go. So this is day one. Basically going to explain what a lead magnet is. And then all I want you to do is download the PDF, which is um, uh, attached in this um, here post. And... Go and check out and just basically work out which type of lead magnet you would be more likely to use, essentially. So I'm just going to flip over to my screen share and basically just want to explain to you what a lead magnet is and then what the various different sorts of um, lead magnets are that you can choose from. So, I mean, this is basically just in the PDF guide, so don't feel that you have to watch this intently. You can just download the guide, and but I'm just going to talk you through some of it. So a lead magnet is an incentive that marketers offer to potential buyers in exchange for their email address or some other piece of contact information. Nowadays, you can actually, um, if, the, if the lead magnet is on your website, you don't even have to collect their name, email address, or any data. You can simply put a Facebook pixel on there and track them. Obviously, GDPR compliant, make sure your privacy policies are up to date and all that sort of thing. But then what you can do is you can you can give them their thing for free. They don't even know necessarily or have to know that you're tracking them. Um, it, uh, it, it's um, implied that it's implied consent by the fact they've gone to the page to download the thing. That, um, but the thing is, you're not going to be blasting them with cold like marketing, like an email newsletter or anything like that straight away, because you'll probably offer them a retargeted ad to sign up to something like their newsletter. So we're we're introducing multiple touch points. So lead magnet is usually. A piece of digital downloadable content such as a PDF, a checklist, a report, an ebook, white paper, a video, etc., etc. The idea being that it's just something that is like I call them marketing assets, basically things that we build um, once that we can send out multiple times without it costing us any money or much money. So things like I've created this little guide here, which is basically my book launch guide. I've actually done it as a book. It's on Amazon, but also um, I'll be giving these away probably to the odd person who who has asked me for details about how to launch their book. I've also got another one planned. So as a lot of you know, I did the um, seven marketing secrets recently, and that's going into, that is already an Amazon book, but it is also going into a, um, uh, a paperback book. So I did the talk last month at Stroudnet um, and the next Stroudnet is on sep uh, September the 4th. So by that time, I want 50 copies of it printed up as a book that I'm going to give out to people. That's a pretty compelling lead magnet. So basically what we want to do is to give people this extra touch point, something that we want to give them f for free. And we want them to, to, basically it says here, we want to give them a good incentive to touch base with us, to give us their details or to um, to start interacting with us. We want to make sure, like how many people, how many business coaches who get asked about their book launch process have a book, book that they would just give away about their book launch process? How many business coaches have a book which says, which a thick book, which is like the seven marketing secrets the, 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 um, uh, the experts don't want you to know? So we go. So what makes a good lead magnet? Um, oh, there's, there's something which is really important here. So your product or service has to do one of two things, okay, um, when it comes to uh, solving a problem. So uh, basically when it's solving a problem, your prospect is moving away from something. There's a pain point, okay, or your product or service has to pull them towards something. So for example, it might be that they don't have enough time at the moment. So that's a pain point and they're pushing away from that. They want to move away from uh, not having enough time. But we want to um, push them towards something, an outcome, which gives them more time. So you can see there has to be this, you have to move them away from something towards something else. That's really, really important. So in this instance, like first of all, it has to solve a real problem, a meaningful problem for them. And ideally, if you can solve some kind of a meaningful problem or demonstrate that you can with a good lead magnet, um, then that's a good thing. If they can't get the confidence through a lead magnet that you can do what you say you can do, then they're probably not likely to engage. Maybe it promises one quick win. So here we go, 20 secrets to a successful book launch. You know, if you want to launch your book successfully, grab hold of a free copy of Kickstart. 
There we go. And the idea is that they can easily achieve something. Um, that is the idea that they can easily achieve something. Now, I know that there's a lot of work involved in doing a successful book launch, but hey, there's the blueprint. It needs to be super specific, so it needs to solve one single problem, okay? And um, the more the more compelling that problem is, the better it's going to convert people into like leads and prospects. Quick and easy to digest. Well, this is how many pages? It is like 50 pages. Yeah, 50 pages basically. So it's quick and easy basically to digest. They can follow the steps in it. Got to be high value. Who doesn't like a good book? Perceived value, that is, by the way, um, versus the actual value. So perceived value has to be higher than the actual value. So this cost me like two pound a copy to print, um, but the perceived value of a book is like 12 pounds, 10 pounds, 12 pounds. So it's like five or six times, the perceived value is five or six times the actual value, if that makes sense. Um, and also it has it has a high actual value as well because if people follow that blueprint, it will give them um, a positive outcome. Instantly accessible. So you're, if, if they can get hold of it or very quickly get hold of it, then people love that instant gratification. We don't want to make them wait like two days because probably they would have already found like another video that um, demonstrates uh, or solves their problem. And then also we want to be um, uh, demonstrate that we are an expert in our field or industry. So a book is a great, again, a great way of demonstrating something that I am expert in in this field of launching books. Okay, so that encourages people to read our thing and then interact with us. And also make sure that you put like a really compelling lead to action in at the end of that thing. So there's lots of different lead magnets. So. I've got a whole list of, of lead magnets here that in this PDF download. So I'm not going to go through them all, but you can start to see, you can get a feeling, a cheat, a checklist, um, a cheat sheet, a template, swipe files, um, examples of work, scripts uh, for like telephone calls, toolkits, web apps, resources. So there's a whole load of, like there's five pages of different um, um uh, various different lead magnets that you could potentially build. And you might not just choose one, you might have several of these. So I just want you to go through um, and look at these um, these different lead magnets here and put a tick, like print. don't print this out, but make a list of the ones which you feel would be most beneficial for your target market, your prospects. And um, I want you to come back to me with that bulleted, that short list of like four or five lead magnets that you feel would be most valuable for your target market with a reason as to why that, that would work for your, your target market, okay? So there's, there's two or three things I want you to put down. Maybe put down who your target market is, which of the lead magnets you think would be most beneficial for them, and then why. Um, and if you can if you can get those three things done, then that's day one of the lead magnet challenge um, uh, underway and we will be coming back tomorrow to then go into a bit more detail I'll, I'll be starting to get you to put together an initial like blueprint of your lead magnet and I'll be analyzing like what I how I feel those will work in your target market and over the course of this we'll actually be getting to a point whereby we've published the lead magnet somewhere and we're starting to invite people via social media to download our lead magnet and and helping them solve a meaningful problem Okay, so that's a summary of the five day challenge, but also like hopefully you've got an idea about what a lead magnet is. So um, just to summarize, like qu very quickly, uh, like go and grab hold of um, this PDF download. It's got um, what a lead magnet is, what makes a good lead magnet, the seven things that it should be solving, and then a whole list of different lead magnets. So make sure you go and grab hold of that, that PDF download and um, start to come back with your comments about what sort of lead magnet is going to work for your target market, who your target market is, and why you feel it's going to add the most amount of value um, to your prospects. Uh, peace out and I will see you for day two of the five day lead magnet challenge um, tomorrow.